Hello, everybody. Haven't we been here before? Yes, this is the area where you get your Chimera dungeon. But, as soon as you do Chimera for the first time, it unlocks a new dungeon that you can go into as an instance called Bolus. Now, what is Bolus? I have no idea. But I think it's a dragon, because the quest is called Advent of a Dragon. Cool. So, I think this is a recent patch into the game, because I haven't seen anything about this before, but I could just be blind. It's very possible, too. Because I've never remembered this many people being around this area. People didn't like the Chimera because it was really hard, and you didn't get really get anything out of it. So they just left it and went back to dungeon grinding. Now look at all these people! They're fucking everywhere! Why is that? Well, there is a new list of items that you can get from him, and it's pretty much the best things in the game right now. So that's kind of cool, and you can do this quest as many times as you want in a day, which is nice. It's a good break from the gotta do my three dungeons a day thing, which is kind of dumb, because you just save up tickets and then you do like 10 dungeons in a day on weekends. Good scheduling, guys. Good scheduling. So, you can do this as many times as you want. What? There's a bit of a restriction. This quest is set up like the repeatable fungus quest is in the sewers. Meaning, they give you a bait item that you will put on the ground to summon the monster, and it has a two-hour cooldown. So, you can do it as many times as you want, as long as so at least someone in your party has bait for the turn. So most parties that get together will do this dungeon five times in a row so that everyone gets their bait finished. That means you can do this dungeon probably five times an hour, come back in an hour, and do five times again. That's pretty smart thinking if you have a guild and you can farm this really well. And so here he is. Not that exciting. He's not moving around a lot like the Chimera. I'm kind of disappointed. Come on. Show us your stuff. I know you've got some ta talent hidden in you. I mean, you're a dragon for fuck's sake. Where's the fire? Where's the passion? Yeah, he's not doing too much. He's kind of beating up our guys, but uh, I think they're just being careless. And apparently, I find out that our healer is not that great. Our, our healer pretty much sucks ass, apparently. But, anyways, we're doing tons of damage to him. But he's got he's got pretty good health. Because this is end game content, like severely end game, even after the dungeons, there's definitely a gear check on this one. Probably because he has like a truck. Uh, and he has he does have a high health pool so you want to get him down constantly and especially near the later sections of the fight where your party's gonna be split up or dead you want to make sure everyone is doing their part to do to get that guy down eventually all right he screamed oh he's in the air oh yeah oh shit what the fuck no 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 oh my god okay Holy Jesus Christ. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Now he's scary. <laughs> Holy shit. That is awesome. Oh my god, this is awesome. This is what I want my fights to be. Freaking scary. This is how all multiplayer games should be. Oh, balls, balls, balls. <laughs> I'd be terrified too, wouldn't you? Oh my god, that's so cool. Okay, so what he's doing is a gigantic sandstorm will appear after he first flies up. So remember that. After he first flies up into the air, run. Because he will launch that gigantic sandstorm. There's tons of damage. That was crazy. It was like a, it was basically like the butcher, but you didn't see it coming. <laughs> okay, but now you will. Now you will. Now he's back on the ground, kind of being boring again. But I like that. It gives you it gives you a chance to do damage to him and then a chance to be freaking afraid of him while trying to do damage to him, but seriously you're being f like 
piss in your pants. All right. But at least he's 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 getting around the map now when he's on his feet. He's not the he's not the exact same. He's charging. He's doing a little dash. All right. Oh fuck. Uh, I think that bugged. Yeah, that guy. Uh, apparently, we did enough damage to make him go. Rrr. Oh fuck! 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 Okay. Jesus Christ. Apparently, he did enough damage to him to make him go Rrr, and stop his fire breath attack. But you'll see that later is actually pretty devastating to me, because I suck. This is my first time, by the way. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Oh shit! <laughs> this is awesome. So badass. <laughs> and if you're reading the text, because that's the most important part of the game, you'll see people are complaining our healer sucks ass. But. You know, it's, it's going to be kind of hard. This fight's pretty long. He does... Ow! He does a lot of damage. And so that's probably eating away at this guy's energy. Which is very it's very hard to do in this game. Hard to keep up with. Oh my god. Run away! Yes. I love my runs. Oh shit. Oh shit. Please don't, please don't be mad. Please don't be mad. Okay. He's not mad at me. He's not mad at me. Yay! That kind of means I'm a suck. Oh well. So, what's the weak spots in this guy? Anything you can break off. You can apparently break off his horn. So, melee damage needs to be in front, and casters try try to be on the front side of him so that you do more damage. Run, run, run! You idiot! Ah! I didn't figure this out actually. That it actually uh, that the sandstorm was focused around him. I thought he picked a person and centered it around them. And so I really thought he was just targeting me really badly. What a dick. Okay. So I learned my lesson. Now I know it, it comes from him and I need to run away when he first gets into the air. But I died. So I fail. But I'm not out yet. All right. Let's get back in this. <laughs> There's only one guy fighting him. Poor bastard. What's our Berserker doing? I don't know. I think he might have tried to gone on to combat to heal a bit. So healer's not doing much. Or he's oh, gotcha. He's letting the tank get aggro again. That's nice. Yeah, I can see that being a problem. See, what you need is more sorcerers. If you get good at dodging... Ow. Not like that. Son of a bitch. I didn't have my health back. I had 2,000 health. <laughs> it's not enough time to get out of there. Oh my god. Okay. I really gotta learn my lesson. I'll get it eventually, guys. I swear. But honestly, for big bosses that are mobile like this and just kite around the party and split them up really badly, I, I want to say that getting more damage and just get rid of the defender. Sorry, defenders. It would be okay to have like two sorcerers, uh, two sorcerers, two zerkers, or three sorcerers and a zerker and a cleric. Just that way, if someone's kiting, you're not losing damage. Because aggro is going all over the place in this battle, and it's taking away from our damage when it's not on the Zerker, or not on the Defender. Which makes the battle go slower, and starting to drain resources on our Cleric, who, even though he sucks, still is useful. And if he was better, he'd probably be burning through his mana faster, and then he would be useless eventually. All right, okay. I'm trying to get to him. He's running the opposite direction. Uh, let's get to him. Come on. I like that you can't see through the sandstorm. It's got really cool effects. Kind of cheap effects. Like, looks like dirt clods instead of sand. But oh well, whatever. 
We okay. Do some damage and then run away. <laughs> that always terrifies me when he he stuns everybody and my pillar still doing damage and doing aggro to him. I'm like, please don't get pissed off at me, sir. Oh my god, it's taking forever. Stop doing that. Yeah, we're trying to get our team structured again. Focus back on the horn, because that he does take more damage, and then if you knock it off, he does uh, um, a fainting animation where he just stops attacking for a while and he gets some good damage in there. So yeah, definitely go for the horn. God, that is awesome move. Seriously. Thank you. You're getting there, you're getting there, you're getting there. All right. Yeah, see like that? Just that animation where he stuns you again. I hate you so much, dragon. <laughs> oh my god, our guys are dying severely. Oh my god, holy shit, that flame just took him out. Flame does so much damage. Why? Dodge. Guess we'll never find out. Will we, Dragon? Yeah! Because I'm a beast! Oh, fuck. Yay! Do, do, do. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why did I not move? I'm a beast! I'm a beast! Fuck! That hurt like hell. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Yeah, I believe I'm pretty awesome too. Don't worry. Cause I run like a boss, run like a champ. Look at me go. Seriously, someone else attack it. We'll run, run, run. Yeah, look at me. Not taking sandstorm damage. Cause I'm a, oh shit. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. That thing does a crazy amount of damage. I did not see that coming either. I don't know how you're supposed to see that coming. That's hilarious. By far one of my favorite bosses in this game. Just the amount of epicness you feel of fighting this guy. You feel small as a person. That's good. You, you should feel your size when taking on a gigantic freaking dragon. Oh my god. <laughs> my helmet's almost broken. Can't die too much more. But he's at a he's at a fifth or sixth health left. Got this. I mean it's set up like the chimera. You're not gonna lose. But it might take you a while if you suck ass. The people who are grinding this are gonna be in guilds farming this daily. And forming parties just to do this like every hour when they can. Come on, come on. Yeah. Not getting caught in that sandstorm. Getting so much better at this game. <laughs> run, dude, run. Oh my god. It's got two sandstorms now? I'm completely missing this, apparently. <laughs> wow. He tripped. No! No! Don't stun me and look at me right now. There we go. Son of a bitch, didn't work. That hurt like hell. Kill him! <laughs> Please kill him, he's so annoying. God, we're so close. No, don't fly away, you bastard. We're going to kill you. No! Stay there. 
Stay there. Let us kill you. <laughs> yes! Yes, we won! Oh my god, we won! I knew we'd win, but... What? I got... I got that from the entire fight? Oh, fuck. And yeah, everyone's quitting, leaving the party because this party sucked. I'll try again, try to farm it later, but yeah, that was a pretty bad party and I got shit out of that. I mean, yay, I got five silver, six silver. Totally worth it. That's gonna pay for all my repairs. All right, so these are the items that you can craft after killing Bolus. These are the items that you're supposed to get from Bolus. They're supposed to drop from Bolus. I saw none of these. He's a son of a bitch. Holy shit. Three supreme rows. <laughs> yep. And I've looked through all the stuff. And the bolus eye was completely useless. I got absolutely nothing from this run. Fuck. Yeah. Totally worth it. So yeah, guys, that's the Bolus instance, where you fight an awesome epic dragon, get the crap kicked out of you, and get a shit reward. Oh well, it was fun. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, or found it enjoyable at least, feel free to click the like and subscribe buttons below for future content on Raider Z and anything I find unusual about it. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.